Hi, and welcome to the DroPros video on sizing a lathe. Today's video shows you how to properly measure a lathe's travel so you can choose the right size magnetic scales for your digital readout kit. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this and see exactly what I'm talking about. We'll demonstrate by taking a look at a very popular gunsmith lathe. First, we need to determine which axis we're going to be measuring with our DRO kit. Digital readouts are designed to measure the X and the Z axis. The X axis is also known as the cross slide and consists of a dovetailed platform moving front to back across the saddle of the lathe, like this. The z-axis is the side-to-side -side or longitudinal axis and consists of the carriage moving left or right along the top of the bed, like this. Now that we've decided which axis we're measuring, we need to figure out what size scales we'll need. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start with the cross slide or the x-axis. First, we need to measure the full travel or movement of the cross slide. To start, we need to position the cross slide all the way to the front of the machine. Now, notice that I'm moving the cross slide all the way until it hits the stop behind the cross slide hand wheel. Now, with the cross slide against the stop to the front, we'll make a mark between the cross slide and the saddle. Now, where we make the mark isn't really important. It just needs to be somewhere between the two moving halves. And if we look closely, you can see that we've previously made a mark in blue between the cross slide and the saddle. So next, we'll move the cross slide to its very rearmost position. And as we do, you can see that the marks begin to split. Now, we want to move the cross slide completely until we either run out of screw or hit a stop. We want to make sure we're getting our full travel. And there it is. I've hit the rear stop. So the distance now between these two marks represents the total travel of the cross slide. All we have to do now is to measure between the two marks, here and here. And we can see that the distance looks to be about six and a half inches. This means we need to choose a lathe kit with a cross slide or x-axis travel of at least 6.5 inches. Now that we've completed the measurements for the cross slide, we'll move on to the carriage. But first, we need to reposition the cross slide so it doesn't hit the chuck. So let's move the cross slide all the way to the front of the machine. And now we're ready. So let's move the carriage to the far left or towards the headstock. Okay, so right here is the farthest to the left our carriage is going to move. In the back, our saddle has hit the sheet metal, and as far as traveling towards the headstock, this is our maximum left travel. And you can see here that just to the left of the apron, we've made a mark onto the bed of the lathe, right here. Next, we'll move the carriage all the way to the opposite or the tailstock end of the lathe. I'll raise the threading dial up out of the way. And now that the carriage is the farthest to the right our machine will travel, I'll measure the distance between the mark we made previously 
and the left side of the apron. And it looks like we've got about 29 and a half inches of travel in the carriage. So just to recap, we need to choose a lathe kit that has a cross slide travel of at least 6.5 inches and a carriage travel of at least 29 and a half. Now remember, magnetic scales can be easily cut or shortened, so for this lathe we would choose an 8 by 40 lathe kit and simply cut the scales down to the exact length we need. Well that's it for how to measure your lathe's travel for magnetic scales. It's easy to do, I've shown you how to do it, and now you can do it too.